stuff. So, who wants to volunteer to condense this for me? Okay, girl, go. Guys, what do you think? It doesn't matter, but yeah. Like put in parentheses, right? She just meant airline put the that thing in parentheses. Like yes. That. Like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But yeah. That is correct. Okay. So I final think about this. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad I that we did that. This. Thank you. Okay. So this is fine. I'm gonna open it. You have a specific problem you wanna go through or there's something you wanna go over. We have the review sheet. Let's go. Guys, okay. You, this is how SI works, right? I don't go on the board. You guys go on the board. So I know there has to be something you need help with. So let's go. <laughs> you said you want to do LN. Do you guys have the book? Yeah, can you? Uh, you know how like we have questions about maybe solve the solution? But it's in the yeah. LN one. Yeah. Can you okay. okay. So let's go. Take a pen. Take the marker. I'm using the review sheet, okay? Okay, so it's ln x to the fourth plus ln x squared minus ln x to the third uh, minus 2 is equal to 7, and they want you to solve for x. So talk to us, right? Don't just write. Let's, you know, hear your thoughts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know you can also ask for help, right? You can also ask your classmates for help if you don't, if you get stuck. You guys have chime in. Matthew, what do you think? I'll say like we have to have x by itself. Okay. Okay, uh, let me stop somewhere. Okay, so see where she said ln x to the third is equal to nine. 
okay? And then she jumped to x to the third is equal to e to the nine. Okay, no, no, I'm trying to see. Okay, good. I just want to see something. Because cube root of nine, cube root of nine is not three. Square root of nine is three. There's no cube root of nine. There's no cube root of nine. Because the cube root of 27 is three. Right. So over here, for example, mm -hmm. do we need to show like how you transition from here, to, from here to here? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You what? You just raise it to the e, you know, right? You raise, raise ln. We know that e to the ln or ln to the e is equal to one. So you so can raise. Like yeah. Okay. X to the third. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Do we need to simplify it anymore? I feel like you do, but hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, yes. You could you could do that. I don't want to carry one. Okay, so you see how we have this guy? Mm hmm Your answer has to be proportionate No, only the square root. Square root. Okay, so let me give you a hint. So when we have square root, right, mm -hmm. and we want to change square root to an exponent, um, to an exponent, what do you do? What do you put it as? It's going to be e nine over six. Mm -hmm. No, it's going to be e nine. No, no, because this is one over two. Okay, but you have. <laughs> okay, look at what Gary did. One, two, yeah. Okay. And nine over six. Uh -huh. Okay, so so take the idea, right? So you have x. You're on the right track, but you kind of, um, so x is equal to, right, e to the 9, and then change that into an exponent, the cube root, make it into an exponent. I think it's going to be 3 over 2. Why is it saying 3 over 2? Oh, it's a cube root. Okay, keep going. X, so x is e to the third. I was thinking it's three over two because here the cube root is half and then the cube root. The cube root is one third. The square root is half. Okay. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. You can leave it. I don't know. Okay, guys. So who wants to go next? Let's go. Well, I have a question. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. What number, please? Thank you. Okay. Question: Like when we have like a arc cosine. Okay, so choose one. Choose one. Choose two. Okay, you I'll go. Choose, uh, case, mm -hmm. like, we know that we know the angle that it gives us a half. That, okay. that the cosine of the angle gives us a half. Okay. Half. Is that what we do? We just simply say it's that angle. Okay, so angle that gives you a half is what? Well, angle whose cosine is half. Uh, 60. Right? 60. Yeah, 60. So yeah. I just write the angle, and that's the answer. Wait, how is angle? Okay, okay, 60. But. No, because. I thought that was Because she said, like, we have to go through the calculator and, and get the radians. Mm. You don't. You don't have to change it to. You don't need the cal. You don't need the calculator. Okay. So yes, you're looking. Basically, you're looking for the angle, right? Whose cosine is a half. But remember, this is an inverse. So you need to know the limit for cosine. What is the limit for cosine? Pi over two. Negative pi. Two. Huh? Two pi over two. Zero to pi. Zero to pi. Zero to pi. Yes. Good. So zero to pi. Zero to pi. Okay. So you always have to make sure, right? If, if the 60 is between 0 to pi, which of course it is, because it's in the first quadrant. So yes, yeah, so your answer is 60 okay. degrees, OK? But in some case, we have like an arc sine of a negative half, let's say. OK, good. I like this one. 
Okay. So we know like, uh, the, what you said? The, the, the limit? The limit. Okay. From negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay. Which is in what quadrant? Um, first and second. Fourth and first third. First and fourth. Fourth. In the fourth and the fifth. Because negative. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's in the first and fourth, right? So where would this be? Where would the negative half be? Fourth. It would be in the fourth, right? Good. So now, so you're looking for angle, right? Also, another thing is um, sine, right? The sine function, is it odd or even? Is it an odd or even function? So sine, is it odd or even function? Okay, so what does that mean if it's odd in terms of the problem? Okay. Keep going now. Which is uh, negative sine of half, half sine of half is 30. Okay. It's pi over 6. Yes. Yes. Negative pi over 6. Okay. Now I'm going to throw one in there for you. Yeah. Tan. Tan and then bracket. Uh, then you have um, arc sine. 5 over 13. Arc sine, 5 over 13. Then close parentheses and then bracket. Yeah. So talk to us. I was actually going to ask you about this like, type of situation. So in this case, should we draw a triangle? OK. You draw a triangle, but you have to always do what first? Draw a right triangle. No. You, oh. have to get the, oh yeah, yeah, you always have to do the uh -huh. limit first. But yes, you draw a triangle, but you have to find where that triangle is going to fall into. So where is the limit for sine? Negative 1. So when it should be either mm -hmm. this quadrant or this one. Okay. First or the fourth. Okay. Well, we have positive numbers, so it's going to be the first. Beautiful. Okay. So let's draw our triangle. Is that what we do, like, a just a straight angle? Mm. Just the same yeah, angle. yeah, yeah. So we know that this is the hypotenuse. Okay, That's hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. so this is the Plug so that into a calculator, you'll be able to figure that out. Why isn't 13 C? Mm -hmm. Because it's the hypothesis, right? right? So right. here you have your A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Wouldn't that be? Yeah. 13 squared right. is 5 squared plus 12 right. squared. Right. Whoops. Yeah. That's right. And that should be 12 squared. Mm -hmm. Good. 12 so squared that's 12. 12. Okay, good. Right, simply we say like 10 is mm -hmm. uh, 12 over 13. 10 is? I don't know, it's uh, I think I believe uh, 5 over 12. 5 over 12. Of the angle, I was explaining. You just say equal to 5 over 12. 5 over 12, okay? Yes. Okay, so I don't think there is any, anything like more difficult than this when you come to the so, inverse. So, like, my concluding question is okay. if we know the angle. Let's see. Right. Do do? I have a question. Okay. Can I um, divide this into two parts? I'm going to be focusing on the sine square theta over cosine square theta times 1 over cosine square theta. Can I just that? Guys, what do you think? He wants to change the right side in that way, into that form. What do you think? Oh. Possible. Well, the professor later told us that this is like a uh, wall we can't. Oh, I'm not moving into this side. I'm staying on this side. I'm asking if I could convert this into this. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. right. That's yeah. Right. yeah. That's good. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. 
take out the cosine. So don't forget to take out the, co the theta, right? Cosine theta. The theta in front. This yeah, right. Put the theta in front, right? You oh can right. just yeah, because I know it's minus one. Right. So. Guys, Thomas is stuck. He needs help. Cosine cosine square equal one over sine square. Cosine. Cosine square equal one over sine square. Can I ask a question? How, um, so you have cosine squared theta, how is that one over sine squared theta? I don't, I don't know, I just heard someone say it. And if you change cosecant to one over sine. Cosecant. Oh, okay, but you could do something. So, speak. Sine squared multiplied with one over sine, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Can I? Do you, yeah. You know, you have the pen. Go for it. Right, let's see. I'm gonna leave this alone. Mm-hmm. Sine theta plus one minus sine squared theta over sine. So all of it, because it's one minus sine squared theta. All of it over the sine theta. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that one is included exactly. Good. Okay. Okay, and then I can separate them into sine theta plus one over sine theta minus sine. Okay, I, I think I see how to get to the solution. You can do that because of the minus. Okay, you can cancel. Okay. Oh, I can't cancel. No, 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 no. You could, well, your, your separation is fine, but you cannot just cancel that because of the minus in the middle. Okay? But you're on the right track. There's something you're missing. Right. All right, and so. you get there. First. Gary, why am I not hearing your voice? Okay, so I can combine these to make sine over sine. Doing the. Okay. Wait. No, but they're not multiplied. Wait, actually. Find the least common denominator. One over sine theta. Yes. So let me stop, stop, okay? So let's go back again to the top. Erase that part. All okay, it? yeah, no, just the, the last one. Okay, start back from there. And yes, find the LCD. Good. From there, yeah, good. So the LCD is sine. So it would be sine. Plus one over sine over sine, right? Well, one over sine. No, it's the whole thing, right? Remember, it's one minus sine squared theta over sine. The whole thing is over the sine. Oh, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. No, I know. I'm just. Okay, so uh, actually, I want to write sheet. What do you think? I mean, okay, so I don't know which one is. I just know your last name is Ahmed, but I don't know the first. Okay, so what do you think? Well, you, you could have so the show us. Show, take the blue pen and show, show, show us, please. Okay. So, like we have a common denominator here. Mm -hmm. for all of the. Uh, so we just simply cancel these two. Since this is uh, has a positive sign, it's going to be on the other side. So we'll end up having, having one over sine. And it is multiplied by this here. Mm -hmm. Right. But here's the thing because I had a question similar to this, at least. But like I had something. Plus so finish it up, please. So then I just convert the one over sine mm -hmm. to cosecant. Theta mm -hmm. times cosine theta and which gives us that awesome. Match. Good. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, yes. Actually, right. I need to get going. So. Okay. Good luck. Should I sign up? Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, she's signing for me. Okay, guys, so who wants to go next? Rashid? What are we doing? I oh, know, I didn't say how are we doing. I said, what are we doing? There has to be something you want to go over. There has to be. Just give me whatever you want. Oh, DQ? DQ? Also, give us one. Uh, Actually, give DQ? Rashid one. DQ? <laughs> Difference quotient. Thank you. Uh, isn't the H plus X? F of X plus H, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, girl. So, do you have something you want to give? Talk to me. Talk to us. Okay, so DQ, so the, D, the DQ formula is F, so I'm going to give you the DQ formula, F, X plus H, okay, minus F of X, mm -hmm. over H, okay. After he's done. So guys, don't, don't forget something, though, as you're solving, don't forget something. There's something you've forgotten, like you know, as you're moving along. Over edge. Okay. Right? Uh, yes, that's it. Okay, that's it. So, two and pi, right? So if they don't give you um, an interval, right? Uh, okay. They don't give you n, so you're generalizing it. So that's with the cosine and sine. Okay. Cosine and sine two and pi and tangent and pi. Okay, good. So, girl, Phyllis, right on the board, how do you solve for inverse? By changing x and y. Okay, keep going. So, let's make x to the y. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Guys, is this correct? Mostly Gary. Stop on your phone, please. Right. Gary, is this don't erase Gary? Is this correct? Matt? Hmm. I'm not hearing your voice. Are you with us? Which one are we on? I'm working on my own thing. Okay, no problem. Yeah. It's yeah. Yes, that's the inverse, right? I like that you're confident. So, are you gonna make X a subject or are you gonna make Y a subject? You always use solve Y again. After you switch, you solve for Y again. But it's yeah. <coughs> so to hmm? do the yeah. final answer. That's yeah, that's the final answer, just the inverse. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. See that? Someone came prepared. Everybody? Yeah. Mostly Rashid. I have to say that, I'm sorry. That girl, nobody wants to say anything. You go. Also, I also want to like put up one thing that I feel like you guys will forget how to do. Okay. okay. So I want, I'm going to pick Gary to do this. After she's done, I will use it to wrap up. Okay, after she's done with this, I that's a problem. I feel like you guys will forget. And we're going to use it to wrap up. Okay. Talk to us. Um, the first so when you find <coughs> the range, you solve for x. When you find the range you of the function, you solve for the y. x. No, the y domain is for the x. Right? Think so of the one with the asymptotes. So it's the same as the inverse function. Just that with yeah. the inverse, you have to. So, yeah. So, okay. Thank Good. You. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Who is behind you? Is that Mark? Mark, yeah. what do you think? Uh, why, what, what? I don't know. Log of 6 is 8. Log of 5 is 8. Find log 900. So and then suppress it. Wait, let me see. Uh, so you break 900? Yeah. yeah, you gotta break it. Yeah, but how? Into uh, what? So in terms of A and B, right. when A and B equal those, find the 
state the what the log of nine hundred is. Okay. That's an A, right? Not a nine. No, it's A. 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 Guys, the lady needs help. Let me hear the guys. What are we doing? The lady in need. Five times six. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is five squared, six squared. Okay. So now go, make it nice with so the problem. Two, six, six squared. Okay. So that will be two. A. Mm hmm. A. Mm hmm. Because log 5 is B. So 2B plus. 2B. We say log 5 plus log 6. Can, can I just show you like okay. the step that I'm arguing about? Okay, this step right here. Mm -hmm. uh, should we write it as like this or say log 5 times 6 squared? Then break it to this. Okay. Yes. Like it's for like the yeah, but it's like it's like expanding and also condensing, right? When you expand each mm -hmm. gets, when you condense, everything just has the one log. Okay. 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 So I'm guessing we're gonna like kind of wrap up with this. There was no more time. Sorry, guys. Oh. Okay, keep when we finish it and then. Can do it also six or point two. Okay, guys. So yep, this is it. Okay, good luck. And. Oh, hmm? No, we have time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was busy on his phone and the time ran away. But um, guys, so I'm ju I just want to say something just to like, you know, just for you to have in mind, right? So remember the, um, what do you call it? The Descartes, right? I hope you studied that. You have 45 minutes. The P and Q, right? Um, you have the synthetic division, right? Yeah. You also have the leading coefficient and the degree and the behavior, right? If it's rising and going down. Um, you also have how to find your HA, right, the N and M. Mm -hmm. How to find the vertical asymptote, the uh -huh. horizontal, right, with the rational, um, rational function. Also, to test with the inequalities. Testing your value to find the intervals. And then the inverse, remembering your limits. Okay, so good luck. Have a nice Christmas, and if I see you guys in the hallway, it better be A.